Hello, my love. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, just a qu quick time lapse of me sketching out different faces of Queen Amidala. I'm getting these ready for the next group show at Zapau Gallery. It's Star Wars themed. And I absolutely love Queen Amidala as a character and her costume design is just the most phenomenal, I think, of the entire series. And I absolutely love and adore it and I had a really fun time sketching these out. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so I also want to apologize, I did not get a video out last week. I let myself take a break because of getting prepared for the group show and getting everything ready and shipped out and framed and all that just took a lot of my time and none of it was very exciting to be filming and sharing so just kind of let myself take that break so but I am back and what I want to talk about in today's video are just kind of the basics of sketching um, and things to pay attention to things to keep in mind um, and you know mistakes to not make so First off, what I'm using is a Penco Twist Ease mechanical pencil, and I'm using 0.7 lead 2B, and the 2B is a, um, actually how I came about finding this lead is pretty funny, an accountant turned me on to this lead because I'm turning in my document and after coating it with very light lead, he's like, you can't code with this lead anymore, you have to get this darker lead. And then I started using it for sketching and totally fell in love with how versatile it is. You can go really dark or really light and it's just a wonderful lead to be using. You're not limited at all. It just gives you so much depth to create. It's also really smooth and I like that. The feeling of this lead specifically on the paper is just really creamy and I enjoy it. Um, <laughs> so. First off, I want to talk about starting light and loose. When you're getting going with a sketch, you do not want to hold your pen or pencil very tight. You want to hold it loose and make really light marks so that you can erase. Um, but it's really important to do that because you want to lightly block in things because it is really easy to get it wrong. <laughs> Especially faces and proportions, those are things that your onlooker is going to pay a lot of attention to. If you get it a little wrong with a tree or a landscape, that's fine, but if it's a human face, our minds are designed to be specifically for facial recognition, and if a face is a little off, the human eye will pick up on that. So it is really important to lightly block things in before you commit to them so that you have the opportunity to get it right and you know I've done thousands of portraits throughout my life and I still make mistakes it's totally normal so you just want to make sure you don't commit to a mistake by pressing down and getting it too dark so start light and work your way darker and that's important because you can always go darker but once you're dark you can really mess up your paper so start light and then build up that definition and take your time with it. Do not, do not rush into making something really dark really fast. And that also kind of leads me to the next thing. When you're sketching, this is the perfect time to practice values and paying attention to what area is going to be the darkest and what area is going to be the lightest and how to control all the different gray tones in between. So that's a really wonderful thing about sketching and it totally transfers into painting and any other form of art. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to getting those values correct. And another really important one, and I say this for just about every video, but use a reference. References are your friend. Um, and it's really just, there's things that you aren't going to think of when you're painting or drawing from your memory. You have to do it thousands of times from reference so that you can get it right from your mind. And even then it's difficult. So it's always good to use a reference. It isn't cheating. It is just a helpful tool to make you the best artist you can be. 
professional artists all use references and there's no fun feelings about it. So if you use your reference, don't feel bad. It's a good thing. It's a professional thing to do. <laughs> um, and that also leads me to another one. Study anatomical proportions because again with faces, it's difficult to get it right exactly. You have to really use these different guidelines and references. Um, and I can actually make a video more in depth about that if you guys are interested on what the proportions are for the human face. But there are also countless guides out there that you can do a quick Google search and find probably exactly what I would be telling you. Um, but thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed a look into another side of my type of my art where it's less about painting and more about just the basic sketching. This is always what I come back to if I feel like I've kind of fallen off of the art wagon. Going in and just sketching with graphite is really the best cure for anything that's plaguing my artistic feelings. So always go back to the basics and sketching is definitely one of my favorite basics. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do intend to turn these into watercolor portraits, so stay tuned. I'm super excited to do this and have them ready for the group show at the Pow Gallery next month. Okay guys, love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.